convicted former principal accountant in the office of the Prime Minister Geoffrey Kazinda, and his three co accused came ready to face court over the other charges against him, but they were disappointed that court could not sit. The others are interdicted Commissioner for Relief and Disaster Preparedness Martin Owar, Assistant Resettlement Officer in the Office of the Prime Minister Beatrice Kezabu, and Hussein Katuma, the Station Manager of Total Fuel Station in Tinda Kampala. The trio denies the charges of embezzlement, causing financial loss and poor accounting. Hearing could not kick off. Because prosecution sought more time to process the amended charges against the trio after the state got additional evidence. Besides, there is no substantive director of public prosecutions, DPP, to sanction the new charges following the appointment of Richard Butera as a judge of the Court of Appeal. Senior State Attorney Jen Francis Abodo said they needed more time since it was not clear when the president would appoint a new DPP. But Kazinda's new lawyer, Anthony Wameli, asked court to suspend proceedings until the state puts its house in order. Chief Magistrate Irina Kankwansa agreed with the state and set 7th August for mention. Council Wameli was concerned that the case is dragging on and wants it expedited since justice delayed is justice denied. Next long, like with force, then it still remains a, a burden on him that he doesn't know when it will be discharged. Hearing was flopped on a number of occasions, including one time when Kazinda's lawyers stormed out of court after clashing with the chief magistrate. A few weeks ago, this court sentenced Kazinda to five years in prison after he was found guilty of 29 charges, including abuse of office, forgery, and unlawful possession of government stores. He has appealed to some of the charges connected to at least 50 billion shillings for the resettlement of northern Uganda. Baker Zena. NBS Television.